Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, welcome. My name is Monica, and in today's video is the uh, Unstuff Your Kindle vlog. So Bex from Bex Reads, she had everybody vote. We are to read ro uh, royalty romances. So I'm kind of cheating a little bit. One is a um, one is an actual royalty romance, and the other is a mafia romance that has Queen in the title. So I am going to be reading Cordil Cordinia's Crown Jewel. I have had, I have the worst time saying Cordina. Don't ask me why. My, it's a tongue twister for me. So yeah, um, I'm going to be reading that first. That's from Nora Roberts. It's the last book in that series. I think it's like the the Cordinia family series. The second book I'm reading is Queen of Misfortune by Angie at Williams. If I'm saying her first name wrong, please let me know because I've heard it said a different couple of ways. So I want to make sure that I'm saying her name correctly. This one is book two in the Shadows of Redemption series. Um, the first one was Soldier of Death, which was the the one where the um, heroine sold her virginity to a guy and he ends up taking her, kidnapping her from her wedding because um, she couldn't run away. This is her sister Lu Lucia. Lucia. They called her Lucy in the book. I loved her character in book one. I was, I'm was i so excited to read this one. Um, and I also loved Donovan who is the hero in this one. He is, I guess the second command under the hero from Soldier of Death. This one I'm really excited about too. So those are what I'm going to be reading in this vlog. So stay tuned. Okay, so I finished Cordina's Crown Jewel yesterday. This one, as I told you, it was a princess on the run because she decided she needed a break from her princess, her uh, life. I'm holding my um, phone because I have my work computer and my personal computer because we start up with school again and I'm literally need to get some work done. It, so the Cor Cordina's royal family follows the family. And then there's a time jump between three and four. So three, one to three is about a uh, guy who's trying to kill the royal family of Cordina, which is a principality, kind of like Monaco. That, that whole storyline was wrapped up at the end of three. So four is about Her Serene Highness, the prince, princess Camilla she decides to go on a run because she doesn't want to deal with life right because of all the all the problems that the press has given her think kind of like princess Diana but not as hard anyway so she's had enough so she cuts her hair and 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 starts driving in the, in around she ends up in rural Vermont and she crashes her car then she meets an archaeologist who's very, very, very grumpy. His name is Delaney Kane. He's kind of a dick for, for part of it. But the thing is, is that that he's so into what he's doing, he doesn't even remember where he puts his car keys. He doesn't remember coffee. Well, he remembers coffee, but he just he's a slob, right? And he just because he wants to get everything done for his job. He's a professor, but he's also prefers to be out in the field on a dig that he's currently working on in Florida, but he had to come back home because a, uh, I guess a student was driving and caused an accident and he ended up getting some bruised ribs and a fractured collarbone, which is really, really, really painful. I know I've had it done twice and it was both when I was kid, a kid and I still still remember the pain to this day. I've broken other bones. Collarbone is the worst. This is a secret identity because Camilla doesn't tell him who she is, but he has a secret too of who he is, but it never occurred to him to tell her because it just never occurred to him. He's hurt when he figures out who she is and he lashes out at her. It's a quick story. It's very much a Nora Roberts story. You can tell she wrote it because the characters are very, it's in her distinct voice, her tone, the way she writes. I think one of the best parts about it is when Camilla decides to kiss him first. That was pretty funny. 
And then she's like, well, if I was a, if it was me and a guy did that, I'd probably be very upset about it too. So she apologized for that. I actually really liked this one. This one was really, really well done. I liked the romance. I liked how they, she liked his grumpiness. She's more sunshiny. He's definitely grumpy. But she liked his grumpiness. And um, we meet his parents and we see that his father is the exact same way where his father is a paleontologist. And he's like, I, he, he can't be bothered with anything but work and his wife. And Delaney essentially, essentially becomes the same way where he can't deal with anything, can't be bothered with anything but his work until Camilla comes along. And then he's like, okay. So he, he makes room for her too. And I really enjoyed it. And the way they talked to each other was really kind of like they were able to communicate their feelings and their desires and stuff. They they would get mad at each other. The banter was actually pretty good in this one. I have to say the banter was pretty good in this one. I, am, I gave four stars. I enjoyed it. I think this one is my favorite in this series. This one in book two. So this whole thing is a royal. So if you want to check it out, it does feel its age a little bit because specifically the first ones are like from the 1980s. So be aware, it does feel its age just a bit. But I did enjoy it. And I enjoyed this one. The third one, though, the third one, the the heroine, she's a spy. So, and he's a prince and she's a spy. And it was so good. I really enjoyed this series. Basically, book two, book three, and book four are the strongest of them all. So, anyway, that it, and book one is Amnesia. So, and I like Amnesia. Anyway, so for... Cordenia's crown jewel. The reason why it's called Cordenia's crown jewel is because that's what the press dubbed her. Then they would make up really horrible lies about her. Anyway, four stars. Hey guys, it is Monday evening and I have been at work all day and I started um, Queen of Misfortune by M.G. Williams. This is Lucia or Lucy and Donovan. I was actually very interested in this one because of Soldier of Death. That's the first book in this series. I don't even know if this series has a name or anything, but um, hold on, let me close my door. I am like all over the place. So I don't know if this series has a name or not, but anyway, um, I am at 50% and so far it's really good. Our hero, there is some care taken with our heroine and hero and um, between Lucy and Donovan, and they are very much attracted to each other, but they absolutely, she hates him. She hates the life of the mafia. And um, he's, he's giving her grief. Like, he's like, oh, you know you want me and all that stuff, and it's fun. Uh, listen, I'm enjoying it so far. It's good. Uh, so I think this is gonna be my last update until I finish this, and then I'll just, close it out because I only want to read I only have two books I really have to read with royalty that isn't a historical romance because I'm not in the mood I have other historical romances I really need to read so so far I'm enjoying this and I'm sorry if this is I I honestly don't know what to say about this book other than it's mafia drama it's hate to love she's a nice queen but there's reasons for it he thinks she's a, a she thinks he thinks that she's not a virgin, but she is. And um, he's like, you know you love me. And she's like, shut up, Toadie. So, yeah. I, I'm, I'm enjoying the banter. It has really good banter in this one. Um, it's not as dramatic as the first one, but I'm enjoying it. So, that's my update. I'm so sorry that this is going to be a very short vlog because I, I, I'm not doing good at vlogging this time. So anyway, um, I will update you when I'm finished. Bye. Hey guys, it's been a few days. Listen, this week has been very, very, very busy and somewhat just, it, it's been a whole thing. I'm just going to put it this way. So um, I'm back at work. So I've been working and having a lot of meetings. There's been a lot of meetings this week. And between that and my daughter's birthday and then... Um, back to school, doctor's appointments. I haven't had time to make this uh, update and the um, 
and to close this video out. This one, I am giving Queen of Misfortune uh, five stars. Who, 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 this exceeded my expectations. I know Lucia or Lucy, I think I'm gonna call her Lucy so I pronounced the name correctly. Lucy, and that's what Donovan calls her, is Lucy. I'm sorry, when I did that, my hair got. Anyway, you don't want to hear about that. Let's hear about the book. So, uh, Lucy is Elena's sister. She thought that her sister Elena did not want to be with Nico, when in fact she did. Um, so she was trying to save her her sister from a really bad fate. They The uh, chemistry was explosive between Donovan and Lucy. The banter, the banter in this book is so well done. The way Don Donovan and Lucy go back and forth with each other, they think they hate each other when in reality they, lo they lust after each other. She has just become will widowed because her husband, who she was sold to by her father, had died. And we found that out in book one. Um, and Lucy and Donovan and Elena and Nico are going after her parents. You think it's just her father, but there's a lot more to the story than that. I loved it. You had the, you had the whole mafia stuff in there. You had a very well-written heroine, a very well-written hero. And they, there was really no lull in this book. I love seeing Nico and Lena back in this book. There's two more books in this series. One is the FBI agent. His name's Liam. He was also part of the Bratva. I am so reading that book next. And there's another one, which was uh, Lucy's uh, step stepson, who's pretty much as old as she is in his, uh, in his uh, romance. So this series, you guys need to read this series. I'm, I'm not kidding. Read the series, okay? I think April would like this. I think uh, just from Honest Fiction would like this. These are really, really good. They're they're very, very bonkers and very entertaining, and I, 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 I absolutely love them. They aren't on audio. They are on Ku, but they're shorter. They're like 260 pages, so it's not terrible. Um, Highly, highly recommend this series. So to, to recap the two books I read, I read Cordenia's Crown Jewels by Nora Roberts. This is book four in her Cordenia Family series, the four books. I gave this one four stars. It was good. I I enjoyed Camilla and I enjoyed Delaney Kane. Um, he was kind of an ass a little bit, but I didn't mind him. I liked him. She 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 liked him too, so it was fun. That one, Secret Identity, Princess on the Run. It was fun. Four stars. Then I just gushed about Queen of Misfortune. Five stars. I'm really loving this series, and I'm excited to continue on the series. Lucy is a badass heroine. And Donovan, he is such a great morally gray hero in this book. Like, he admits that he's not a good guy. Because there is a part where he gets hurt and he thought, I was like, well, if I'm dead, th then this is hell. Because <laughs> he felt like he was burning. And uh, he was like, yeah, I'm a bad guy. <laughs> so I like a, a character with real self-awareness. So anyways, those are the two books I read. Um, let me know if you are planning on reading them. I would love to hear. And go watch everybody else's videos. I'm excited to see what they are reading for this prompt. And if you made it this far in this video, please leave me a crown emoji since we're talking about royalty. And until next time, my friends, happy reading. Bye.